Sind Sie bald fertig, Leutnant? There's no need to make grunting noises, Lieutenant. I understand English. Then you understand what get moving means. Let's go! I'm a soldier. It is my duty to escape. I hope it was for that, Lieutenant. Move. I'm afraid we'll have to walk. I don't like walk. Shut up. is mine. I, I do not understand. Booby traps all over the place. Explosives to kill the Americans. Did you come forward? Any mines near here? 
Believe me, I haven't killed an Alvik. American engineers will be here in the morning, sister. Until then, keep everybody out of town. But, monsieur, that is impossible. The old people will be returning soon. What old people? Monsieur, this town is a spa. All people who are not well live here. People from all over France, from England. That is how I learned to speak English. When the fighting began, they, they ran off to the hills. Now that the Bosch are driven away, they will return. Post signs outside of town, on all the roads, all the bridges leading in. It cannot be done. These people have lived through many wars. They know how one must leave a town, how one must return without being seen. Each has his own way. A, a tunnel, a cave that becomes a wine cellar, a sewer that leads to an underground room. <sighs> Believe me, there is no way to stop them. I have an idea, Lieutenant. A solution for the entire problem. I bet you have. I know where the mines are. I could defuse them. Get going. But, Lieutenant, if he is willing... Sister, he's willing to do anything that'll give him a chance to escape. That's not true. I'm a human being. I do not want to see innocent people killed by mines. I have planned against enemy soldiers. I think I believe this man. Well, I don't. Then you can watch me every step of the way. You have the weapon. There's no way to keep those people out, you sure? I am sure. Lieutenant, at the moment, the war is at a standstill for us. What we are doing will be done for humanity. Why not, Lieutenant? I could not hurt you. Uh, let a mine explode, say, without hurting myself. Okay. You'll defuse the mind you set. I will pray for you both. church first. Why? I do not mind the church. It's perfectly safe. Then you shouldn't mind going in. Sister, come back. but I want to kill an innocent civilian. So you could jump me during the explosion? Preposterous. Remove it. only trap one side of the door. Americans, always on the right side. 
It's more sporting that way. It's harmless now. You're not a professional soldier, are you, Lieutenant? So? Trust the passing thought. I find it amazing that you people have lasted this long. Inferior material, amateur soldiers. Take you and I, for example. What did you have? Six months training? I was schooled for eight years on how to meet the enemy. All right. You've met him. Let's go on to the next one. Chairman Pinocolas, a favorite souvenir with American soldiers. Why don't you defuse it? Too sensitive. This kind of work makes me thirsty. Buy some cold water. Water's for bathing. We'll come across some beer. Time for a cigarette, Lieutenant. Second delay on the fuse. Turn it on. Seems you are experienced with booby traps, Lieutenant. 
Not bad for an amateur. successful, Lieutenant. The streets are all clear. But not the buildings. Let's go. When I have cleared all the buildings, you will bring me back this way, a prisoner. That way. If you stay in line, meanwhile. Well, do not worry. I know when I'm well off, Lieutenant. As you can see, Lieutenant, there is something that will delight the hearts of your signal corps. But before your eager men reach that wonderful equipment, there is danger. What's between us and the equipment? I will show you. Get the message. The message? You can be trusted. From now on, I have nothing to worry about. Was there ever a question of that? Come on. I'd almost forgotten. Writing paper and a fountain pen. A rare find for soldiers away from home who have not written in many weeks. How would you bet, Lieutenant? Safe or unsafe? Unsafe, of course! What's next? The equipment? Of course not. It's in perfect order. When do you expect your forces to occupy this town? When they get here. Move. Wait. Perhaps the Americans will not come as soon as I had expected. And the town people may come in here. What do you mean? Come, I will show you. A time bomb, set to explode in 36 hours. Disarm it. 
First, the timing device. We must deactivate it. It's a two-man job. I will need your help. These clockwork devices are tricky. I will remove the back of the box. You will hold the box down. It is very sensitive. It must not be moved or juggled at all. suppliers. Move, give me room. all my skill. Oof. What about the blasting cap? Mm. Lieutenant, I'm afraid from now on you will have to do all the discussing yourself. Together we will do it. Believe in me. I will be your teacher. You will be my hand. traps are there? Three. Where's the first one? The hotel across the street. Now just because I'm doing the diffusing, don't get any ideas, any mistakes, any tricks. You're going to be so close to me that if I get it, you get it. You understand? Perfectly. Thank you. 
I can just see it, Lieutenant. One of your officers, perhaps a colonel, after a grueling day of marching and fighting, he would seek out something like this. Which end? Here, at the foot. Don't worry, Lieutenant. Your first task is no more than an elementary device. Where do I start? Lift the mattress carefully. How do I know what's going to happen? As you said, you have carefully placed me close by. If you die, I die. the pressure plate. Take the clamp and place it under the firing pin. Careful. Take the other safety pin and insert it in the hole in the main body. It is safe now. Instructions well, Lieutenant. Booby trap. We were going here next. I did not know there were civilians in the town. It is Louis Roche and his son Claude. It was not meant for civilians. It was meant for enemy soldiers. Over there. Hands against the wall. Move! Hands against the wall. Father back. They say won't be tranquilla. Tell him I just want to try and help the boy, sister. L'American Emra vous aide. Je ne veux pas t'aider. He... he wishes no help. Claude... ouvrit une bouteille de vin. Je m'étais un peu... éloigné de lui. Il garda sa main sur la bouteille. Tout à la... bien pendant... A moment, tout d'un coup, elle a éclaté. The son had opened a bottle of wine. The father moved away for a moment. Suddenly, 
the bottle exploded. Come away from that wall. It was not I, it was one of my men. It's always somebody else. Say, Louis. Tell him no, it wasn't I, it was one of my men. Send it by Dom, said it under the soldier. Where to next? The railroad station. Bosh! Rabout de la création. Je te dorai, Bosh! Bosh! We'll be at the railroad station, sister. The head box is what we came here for. We have found any piece of luggage is a great attraction for soldiers. Take that hat box. It looks as if it had been abandoned by some forgetful traveler. And who knows what is in it? What is it? Ten pounds of TNT, operated by a balancing mechanism. It must be lifted down carefully. If it is tilted more than 20 degrees, the bots die. Over there, against the counter. Don't move, Lieutenant. Listen to me carefully. The head box is harmless, but the scale you stand on is not. The scale beneath your feet is a pressure plate. When you step on it, a plunger was set. If your weight is removed, it triggers a firing mechanism. We have found out that all Americans cannot pass by a scale. They always weigh themselves. It seems to be a national trait. <laughs> I've learned a lot about you these past hours, Lieutenant. You are determined to take me back a prisoner at whatever cost. You still have hope that you can do that somehow. I'll feed us then. Pour nous pauvres pêcheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort, ainsi soit-il. Bosh! 
Assassin! Roche! Monsieur Roche! at the Bosch. Does the German have a gun? No, Lieutenant. All right, now, sister, listen carefully. Don't ask questions. This scale is a mine, a booby trap. I have to put something heavy on it before I can get off. Now, this baggage carrier, this truck, try to push it toward me. Quickly. <laughs> try, sister, try again. Sister, the cord you have wrapped around you. Take it off and tie it to the truck. Bring me the other end. It is the sanctuary. It, it is blessed. Look, sister, I mean no disrespect. But do you want another man to die out there? station.
Good shot, Lieutenant. Get up. Did you ever manage? All right, hand or no hand. Dismantle it. for six whole hours with the same trick. He would be standing there yet if some of our people had not arrived and captured him. What other cute stunts do you have up your sleeve? No more stunts, no more mines. That unfortunate young Frenchman set off the last of them. You sure? The civilians coming into town. I have told you I'm not in business to kill civilians. My arm is bleeding. Still live. Our lines are just beyond the bridge. Come on. Because many of the people will return over this bridge. You can tell them the town is safe now, sister. Thank you. I am most grateful. There is a grotto on the other side of the bridge. I will wait there for my people. Halt! Don't move. Trust me with a knife. I will take it out. Always remember, sister, that on this day, under this place, you deprived my fatherland of one of its most resourceful soldiers. But perhaps not, Lieutenant, eh? There's still a little way to go before I reach your POW compound. Nine 